Well, believe it or not, it's week 10 of the high school football season. Games got kicked off tonight with three matchups in our area, all featuring at least one school that will be playing in the first round of the playoffs. Let's get tonight started with fourth ranked McGill Tulin hosting Sumter Central at Lipscomb Stadium. The Yellow Jackets secured the second spot in 6A Region 1 last Friday with a win over Murphy. And tonight, looking for their ninth win of the season. Out to the lip we go. And guys, it's Halloween, so of course we have the costumes, and I like the Duck Dynasty right there. Here we go. Harry Satterwhite quickly to Chris Knowles' second play of the game. Jackets would lead quickly 7 to nothing. later. Sumter Central Jaguars are going to have the ball here, but it's going to be intercepted by Mark Valley. He would be brought down eventually. A couple plays later, Harry Satterway again, this time to Will Young, and he's in easily for the touchdown. Jackets up 14 0 there. Later now, still in the first half, handoff to Edo Smith. He'd break a few tackles, dancing around. That's my boy right there. He's going to get brought down, though. Eventually, a few plays later, here we go. Satterwhite, he's going to do work himself. Scrambling, dancing. He's in for the touchdown. Jackets would lead 21 0 there. Let's take a look at the final now. McGill would beat Sumter Central 65-20. to And let's take a look at McGill's playoff bracket here. The fourth-ranked Yellow Jackets will host eighth-ranked Opelika at the lip next Friday night. That's a tough one for them. And take a look there. Daphne will host Wetumpka in round one. Both, of the, both the Jackets and Trojans can advance. We will have an awesome round two matchup there. Now over to the other side of the bay, the defending 5A state champs Spanish Fort hosted Mobile Christian tonight. The Toros undefeated on the year and the Leopards riding a two-game losing streak headed into tonight's matchup with the top-ranked team in 5A. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from tonight. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Well, okay, whatever. Anyway, later here we go. Toros Johnston finds Samuel Harris. Look at this catch, one-handed. That's impressive. He would eventually be brought down, but Toros would roll from there. Later, Tyler Johnston hands off here to Braxton Shable. Breaks some tackles here. He's in for the score from 20 yards out. Toros lead 7-3 there later. Johnston again, pump fake, pump fake the camera. And he scrambles later, finds Ladaryl Petway. 26 yards out for the score. 13-3. Let's take a look at the final. Now Spanish Fort would win big time as expected 42 just three over Mobile Christian. Now let's look here's the bracket for the top ranked Toros. They'll host Selma in round one for 5A and despite three straight losses Mobile Christian is going to be in the playoffs. You can see there the Leopards will travel to Elba in round one for 2A. Now, last Friday night, the Blunt Leopards celebrated the 6A Region 1 crown with a win over Baker. The 7th ranked Leopards wrapped up the regular season tonight against Williamson. Let's head out to Blunt and check out those highlights. Here come the 6A Region 1 champs onto their own turf here. And Williamson, check this out, trying to punt. He decides not to. He'd rather get mauled. And the Blunt would have the ball there. Here we go, Malik Campbell. Around the edge, he's in for the score. Seven nothing quickly. Leopards on top. The band loving it, celebrating. Must love the band. Okay, later. Campbell again. Watch this. He's going to hold off his defender here and find Charles Shepard. Fourteen nothing. The Leopards would score. And later, here we go. The sweep to. Purdue and he's in. Check out the speed on that kid. 21-0 there. Blunt. Let's take a look at the final. Blunt would lead, would win, excuse me, 34-6 over Williamson. Now here's a look at Blunt's playoff bracket in 6A. The Leopards will host Carver Montgomery in round one. The winner there will take the winner of Pelham and Fairhope in round two. Now here's a look at a couple Week 10 games tomorrow night. Our game of the week will be the Battle of Old Shell Road. Ninth ranked St. Paul's at top-ranked UMS, another big rivalry game, will be Thomasville at Jackson. Also, Murphy traveling to Pritchard to take on Viger. That will be Viger's last game of the season following the disqualification from the playoffs. And Elma Bryant will hit the road to take on Daphne. Of course, we'll have highlights from all those games and scores from even more tomorrow night on First and Ten beginning at 9.30. Definitely looking up to wrapping up the regular season and getting into the playoffs, guys. It's going to be awesome.
Week 10 is already here. Like we mentioned, mm. I know I've been talking about it lately, but <laughs> it's surprisingly already here. Then we have the playoffs. Lots mm -hmm. of teams there. Looking mm -hmm. forward to and that. And McGill had an easy time tonight. Oh, yes. Simple win for them. And uh, looking forward to see how they do against eighth-ranked Opelika. That's a real tough game for uh, round one in the playoffs. Hey, Norm.